Welcome to my presentation about the MBS FileMaker plugin. My name is Christian Schmitz from MonkeyPad Software. The MBS FileMaker plugin. Let me give you an update. A lot changed this year. If you like to learn more, we have a few videos on the website with older presentations. The MBS plugin has been in development since 2006. That is already 16 years. If it would be a child, it would now be allowed to drink beer in Germany or to drive a car in the USA. We currently have 6800 functions, so there should be something for everyone. About 200 functions are new this year and we are adding more for our customers as they ask for it. We have over 600 example databases. If you have a week of vacation, you can try them all, but mostly you will look into an example and copy a script to get a job done quickly. The MBS plugin is delivered as one plugin file. And only the parts you use are loaded and active, so we have a low memory footprint. Our plugin is easy to install or update because you only copy one file to the extension folder. You can automate installation with the install plugin script step, and we have an example database called install plugin update if needed, where you can copy the script. We support a lot of FileMaker versions, from the ancient version 7 to the current 19.5 and the upcoming 19.6 version. Clarix Pro and Server are supported since version 12.5. On the FileMaker platform, we support Claris Pro and FileMaker Pro. Claris Server and FileMaker Server. You can use our plugin with Perform Script on Server, with Scheduled Scripts and with WebDirect. On MacOS, Windows and Linux. For Linux, we are proud to have one plugin to run on CentOS 7, Ubuntu 18 and newer version 20. The Data API is supported since FileMaker 19.3. The FileMaker iOS SDK can be used to build your own iOS app and embed our iOS version of the plugin. Claris Go and FileMaker Go can use the plugin via Perform Script on Server if you install the plugin on the server side. We do have a nice example for barcodes, which either creates a barcode locally with the plugin or delegates this task via Perform Script on Server to the server. The Claris Cloud 2 is not supported since we can't install our plugin on Claris server. You can still use the plugin on the client side or host your server with some other cloud hosting service and install our plugin on this server. Our plugin can be used offline as a license check doesn't need an internet connection. Our plugin has one central function, which is also available as a script step. Imagine how the calculation dialog would look like if we would add all 6000 functions there. The first parameter to our function is the actual function name. And this can come from a calculation or a field. Please check for errors as every function may fail. We keep error state and you can query this with the isError function. And you can look for MBS prefix in the results. We use reference numbers for parameters. For example, if you pass a JSON, you get back a number for this object. This number is then passed to the format function to reference that JSON object. And finally, you can release it. DynaPDF. With the DynaPDF library, we can work with PDF files. This includes editing pages like adding page numbers or pictures, Merge and split, extracting text and images, encrypt and decrypt, optimizing for smaller sizes, or rendering pictures. 
We added some new tricks for rendering on Windows. This includes alternative font lists to substitute missing characters. We added support for PDF-A, 2U and 3U, and PDF-X, 5 and 6 since the PDF standard involves. We got support for Zugpferd 2.2 for Germany and Factor X for France. And you can set the rendering intent for an image so it shows up in printing as you need it. We enhanced our style text conversation from FileMaker to DynaPDF with handling of double underlines. And the optimize function got a new trick to convert text to outlines so readers can no longer copy text easily. We have both SQL functions for within FileMaker and SQL to other databases. If a client of yours has one of those database servers, you can connect to them via script and move records from one side to the other. This includes MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server and PostgreSQL and this is an alternative to ESS with, and all with native drivers in favor of using ODBC. We improved encryption for MySQL and MariaDB so you can use SSL there. And we improved handling of decimal numbers, so no more rounding errors as we move decimal numbers as they are. You may use our SQL functions to regularly move records from or to a SQL server. For example, you could query new orders from a MySQL database running your web shop. The Vision Framework. You may have heard of Get Live Text in recent FileMaker versions. We had that function for years now and we recently added support for PDF documents to it. So whether you have pictures or PDF documents, we can give you text back for macOS and iOS. Word file. We have Word file functions to read, modify and write Microsoft Word documents. For example, you can output Word files where you load a template file, replace tags with values and save to a new Word document. We added contains function to look whether some text is in the documents and substitute function to replace it. You can also list the tags to replace if you use our tag system. And you can now save to a container instead of a file. OCR we have been using the Tesseract 3 engine for years in our plugin to recognize text. This used to be a commercial OCR software which later got open sourced. You can use the load function to load Tesseract 4 or 5 libraries and use the newer libraries which are a little bit better. And this works fine in server scripts doing several OCR operations on different CPU cores with perform script on servers. Barcodes. We support generating over 80 types of barcodes for either getting an image and drawing them on PDF documents. We can also recognize barcodes in three ways. The old barcode detect function with Sing, the newer barcode scan function with the setbar library, and we have for macOS and iOS the vision framework to detect barcodes with the Apple libraries with the vision detect barcode function. And here are the barcode types supported by ZBAR. Curl. As you may know, we use curl library a lot for HTTP and FTP up and downloads. We can send and receive emails and we have a nice IMAP email example to download and show emails with attachments. You can send emails with our plugin including HTML with inline graphics and several attachments. We added a curl options function to give you a JSON with all the options you set. This is great for debugging. For SFTP with SSH, we now handle hashes with 256 bits. Webhooks. Within our plugin, we can run a little web server and receive web requests. For example, to get notified about an incoming call for your phone system. We improved that functionality and got a new state function to check how far processed a request is. 
and we got functions to query the size of a request. And you can now limit the requests in size to avoid running into memory limitations. Custom functions in JavaScript. We have custom function defined in the plugin both as FileMaker calculations and JavaScript code. For JavaScript you can use either cross-platform the JavaScript JS functions with duct tape or for macOS and iOS you can use WebKit's JavaScript engine. Use JavaScript to enhance performance with regular expressions, JSON processing, array functions. Please check the fmcf function for custom FileMaker functions and both the js.cf and javascript.cf functions for custom JavaScript functions. Dialogs. We have plenty of functions to show custom dialogs. And we got an option to change text alignment if you don't like text to be centered on macOS. Windows Photo Import. For years we had functions for macOS with image capture to import pictures from our digital camera. We recently got similar functionality for Windows and use those system dialogs. Debugging. If you like to debug your scripts, you can always let the trace function write a log file. We include the parameter names in the log so you can see exactly what value is passed for which parameter. If needed, you can pause or resume the trace logging. With this error, you can check whether the last function returned an error. This value is stored per script, so it works on server with several scripts in parallel. To better catch errors in big scripts, you can use clear error function to, on the start of the script, then do a lot of MBS calls, for example to make a PDF with hundreds of Dyna PDF function calls. Then on the end use head error functions to see if one of them failed. Then query the error log function to get a JSON with details about any error that happened. Since we have metadata in the plugin, you can also query parameters for functions based on a function name and the platform supported by a function. MongoDB Since Claris announced to use MongoDB for Claris Studio, quite a few people got interested in this database technology. You may have clients with MongoDB, so you can use our functions to connect directly natively to a Mongo database. Select a database on the server and pick a collection, which is MongoDB's way of a table. You can add, update or delete records and we got functions to insert several records in one call. You can find documents to retrieve data. You can run custom commands like ping. You can use the MongoDB functions on all platforms including Linux and iOS applications. And we recently added functions for transactions so you can do several operations and then decide whether to commit them all or discard the changes. FileMaker iOS SDK You can use the MBS FileMaker plugin on iOS when you build your iOS app with an embedded plugin. We added support to use the iOS simulator on Apple Silicon. We updated the DynaPDF framework for iOS regularly so you can use our DynaPDF functions in your iOS app. Our sharing panel functions allow you to share several items. This may include to pass several files directly to AirDrop or pass a text, a subject line and a file to an email application. The photo picker functions show a dialog to pick photos without asking the user for permission. The user selects the images to share with the application and then your application receives those files. The new dialog handles pictures in the cloud and downloads them as needed. We also have a document picker which allows you to get a save and load dialog in iOS. Change dialogs on iOS. We had that for macOS for years, but recently got it for iOS too. You can change the text of various dialogs from FileMaker in your script, and you may improve the user experience this way. 
We had functions to show a progress dialog on macOS and Windows. Recently, we added iOS support, so you can have those nice round progress dialogs for your iOS application. Optionally, you can have a rectangle one. More little features. Our audit functions can now store times and date values as numbers to avoid trouble with users having different local settings. This way, we avoid seeing changes locked because one FileMaker shows a date in the US format and another client in German format and locks a change each time. For our second factor logins via script, we got a DOTP calculate function to calculate time based one time passwords in the plugin. Your script can now use the login credentials, and when the code is requested, instead of manually using an iPhone app to look up the code, you can now use a plugin function to get the value. For plugin managed global variables, we now have a lookup function so you can define what to return when the variable is not defined. This can streamline your scripts a bit when using our global variables, which work well across different database files. With our matrix functions, we have a great way to store our two-dimensional array in memory with values. You can load records into a matrix or a CSV text, then work with the matrix and later output it as a CSV or insert to database as records. Recently, we added a new rotate function to change the orientation of the matrix. The matrix convert data type functions allow you to change the data type if needed. FileMaker enhancements. As you may know, we extend the FileMaker user interface with a lot of nice things for developers. Recently, we got shortcuts for the calculation dialog to shift text left and right so you can nicely format your let statements. With the colorize script function, you can apply our coloring rules to a script text if needed. Code folding. We added code folding to the plugin this year, and that may be helpful to debug or read scripts. Please note that we only modify the view on the script. When you save the script or reload it, the lines are all showing again. Links and comments. The MES plugin recognizes links within the script workspace and shows a little widget on the right to open the link. This allows you to directly link to wiki pages, documentation, or to trigger FMP URLs to do something right from the script workspace. Sorting layouts and script. Use the contextual menu to sort your scripts and layouts by name, get functions. For get functions in FileMaker, we can link directly to the documentation to review the details. This works great in several languages. We have buttons in the calculation dialog to add and remove table prefixes in your calculations. And you can use our buttons to shake calculations or to evaluate them. Variable name autocompletion. We added a functionality to autocomplete variables. The plugin scans the script to find all variable names above the current line and it remembers global variables over several scripts. You can feed variables for the system with comment lines to declare variables not defined in the script directly. MBS Autocomplete While we added autocompletion for variables, we continued directly with the MBS function names. This includes showing the parameters required for the function. Value list IDs. We show ID values for several tables in FileMaker, including layouts, tables, fields, and value lists. And we have the function to convert from ID to name and back. Search relationship graph. We had this for years on MacOS, but now got it finally for Windows. You can type some characters in our search 
field press return and find a table occurrence. Resources We got a website with a ton of information about our plugin. You can find the documentation on mbsplugins.eu website. We have a blog with news, tips, tricks and event promotions. We have a video page with all the videos we collected over time. And you can sign up for a newsletter or trial license on the website. Thank you for watching.